my name is Joshua Bright, I'm 17 and I'm doing a Masters in Banking and Finance at Queen Mary University of London. So my academic background, I first sat at GCSE at the age of five, I sat GCSE Maths and then by 10 I had six GCSEs, all A to Cs. Um, by 14 I had four A levels and um, I just recently graduated with first class honours by 17. I think knowing where I started because some of the times when I was like six years old I'll be going with my mum to a place in Watford to learn about computing 6am every Saturday morning whilst my friends were out playing football and just knowing that they had a plan for me and they really saw that I could pick up things quicker than you know some of my peers I want to be a real major player in the in the financial industry so whether that's in you know asset management or investment banking I just want to be someone that's well respected and well known for whichever field that I go down my main role models are my parents because of the support and the, the, the involvement that they've had in my life you know without my parents I would not be here today and you know the, the, the fact that they've put so much time and effort into me and money as well and it hasn't gone to waste the best thing about you know being 17 and being in the masters is the celebrity status that you get from it I mean you know I went to talk at a church um, a victory house in um, Old Kent Road on Saturday, Sunday last Sunday and the reception that I got was really fantastic and it just made me feel good about myself that I'm doing something that's inspiring in other people. I think, you know, predominantly my, my success is down to God and, you know, my faith in God has been something that has kept me well grounded. I mean, you know, like with every successful person, they have to make sacrifices and one of the main ones was, you know, sometimes the involvement with your friends that you have because once you're doing something that's a bit higher and a bit harder than what they're doing, the level of involvement and interaction you're going to have with them is going to be less than expected. So I mean, but there's a time and a place for everything. I still have times to, to, to talk to my friends, to converse with them, to relate with them. I think my three biggest achievements is, um, one, getting the six GCSEs by 10, two, finishing um, university with a first class um, degree because I mean at any age is still an achievement but to do it at 17 is even extra special and also making the top 10 of the Future Leaders magazine so that is basically showcases 100 black undergraduates um, at university that just finished and they had a ceremony for them at the House of Lords and I was fortunate enough to make the top 10 and it was a real big achievement because I went straight in there and it was, um, it was a really good day and a really good event and it really showed that what I'm doing is you know being respected by so many different people. Alongside my, my degree, I was also working at a school called Essential Education in which they teach young children, so from 14 to under, train them for a year and they do maths GCSE. And um, it was really, really inspiring to see some of the stories that we, and some of the successes that we had from there. There was one story that I really, really stand, stands out from there. He was a boy, he was about 11 years old or 10 years old, and when he told his teachers at school that he was doing a GCSE, they, they laughed at him and they ridiculed him and they were like, Oh, then you, you don't even know your sat, so we you doing the GCSE and he came out with a C and for me that was real real big achievement for him and it even inspired me and motivated me to see that you know what I'm doing is is good but there's also guys that you know don't have the opportunity and aren't as fortunate as me and it's just time to give back and that's why I try within my time there at Essential Education. Number one tip is do your research. You know, bank, the banking industry has so many different areas and different kind of sectors that you could go down. You know, you've got the professional services route, then you've got the investment banking route. So you need to really take your time and see which area you feel you'll be best suited to. So I say my number two tip would be networks. So networks are really, really key and really, really crucial because you don't know how those people will be able to help you and influence your careers in you know, five years time, 10 years time, because sometimes it is who you know rather than what you know. Number three, I'd definitely say prepare, because going into a new industry, going into a new professional environment, you need to really know about the, the in-depths, about the, the company, so you need to know about the culture, and how they operate because different companies operate in different ways. My name is Joshua Bright, I'm 17, I'm doing a master in banking and finance. If I can do it, you can do it too. Believe you can achieve. For more information, join the Facebook fan page Young Achievers Dash The Next Gen.